Hello, this is Phoenix Ounce from the Phoenix Ounce Military Academy and I am here today to discuss the Kamikaze. During World War II, there were many different variations of different tactics used by nations to defeat their enemies, such as the Soviet Union using human wave attacks to overcome their enemies by numbers and the Germans using Blitzkrieg to overcome their enemies by rapid and skillfully executed deep penetration by tanks. However, the Japanese Air Force used a very different tactic than their counterparts, the Kamikaze. The Kamikaze attack consists of crash diving an aircraft into an allied warship in order to heavily damage or sink the ship, while consuming the pilot in the progress. Whether the attack is successful or not, the pilot is lost anyway. Considering this is a concerning tactic used by the Japanese Air Force, in the later stages of the Pacific Campaign, the Allies were gaining the upper hand in almost every aspect of combat the Allies mostly had naval, air and land supremacy. The first organized kamikaze attack occurred on 25 October 1944, during the Allied invasion of Leyte in the Philippines where 24 volunteers from the 201st Navy Air Group attempted to target escort carriers in the area. The first wave managed to hit USS Keatkin suffering minor damage and injuries and the St. Lo which managed to penetrate the flight deck and detonate the bomb magazines, sinking her later. By the next day, 40 Allied warships including 7 escort carriers were either sunk, heavily damaged, or moderately damaged. This success is tribute to the Allied warships being taken by surprise thus the Japanese enjoyed the initial success. This success prompted the rapid expansion of the Kamikaze program to the point where Japanese designers were creating purpose-built aircraft instead of being converted to the Kamikaze role. A particular purpose-built aircraft, called MXY-70 Kot, meaning cherry blossom in English, was a rocket-powered aircraft that was launched from a mother aircraft, usually a G4M Betty bomber. From that point, the pilot would close the distance to their target. Upon activation of the three rockets, the Oka would reach speeds exceeding 930 km in a dive and if the Oka hit the Allied warship, the result was usually catastrophic due to the aircraft being a 1,200 kg bomb. However, the aircraft could not be mass-produced as the USA's strategic bombing campaign resulted in extensive damage to Japanese industry. The US sailors nicknamed the Oka the Baka bombs, or idiot bombs. The peak of the kamikaze attacks were between April and June of 1945 during the Okinawa campaign, where the most damaging attacks occurred. One of the most notable and devastating kamikaze attacks came on May 11, 1945 where two A6M Zeros struck the USS Bunker Hill's flight deck and island superstructure, causing huge damage and large loss of sailors roughly 400 sailors and airmen were lost and 260 more casualties. Other successes included the strikes against the British aircraft carriers, HMS Formidable and HMS Victorious. Yeah. The kamikaze was a tactic developed late in the Pacific War to be able to effectively damage the Allied warships caused by a lacking ability to engage the enemy by means of conventional combat due to a loss of valuable military material such as aircraft carriers and pilots. This tactic was widely accepted in Japan as it was a part of the Japanese culture and code to sacrifice themselves in the name of the Emperor and guarantee a place in heaven. This is Phoenix Ounce from the Phoenix Ounce Military Academy and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a suggestion below for any military videos you would like to see and if you know someone that would enjoy or want to learn about the military, make sure to let them know about Phoenix Ounce. Interesting facts about the Kamikaze, the Kamikaze means divine wind in English and it comes from an event that occurred in 1274 AD. A Mongolian fleet, under the command of Kublai Khan, was threatening invasion of the Japanese homelands and was caught in a major typhoon that destroyed the majority of the fleet. According to a poet created about this event, the name Kamikaze was given to the typhoon. Another fact, the majority of the kamikaze attacks were from converted warplanes, mainly the A6M0 and assorted dive bombers. Even though the kamikaze attack on 25 October 1944 was marked as the first organized attack against the Allies, there have been several acts of crash diving aircraft into ships, 
These attacks were usually done on pilots' initiative more than an organized attack. The kamikaze was not only used against Allied fleets, when the USA started employing B-29 Super Fortresses for strategic bombing over the Japanese homeland, the Japanese Air Force unsuccessfully attempted to use the kamikaze tactic against the bombers. The result usually worked against the idea of the kamikaze. A US Navy aviator commander by the name of John Thatch developed the idea of the Big Blue Blanket. This established that combat air patrols were to operate longer and further away from carriers and for destroyers to operate further away from carriers to ensure earlier radar detection of incoming kamikaze aircraft.